Hi everyone, and I want to welcome you back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to be specifically focusing on the Silhouette Go app. Are you having trouble uploading your SVG files to the Silhouette Go app? Well, in this video, I am going to be showing you exactly how to upload your photos and how to upload your SVG files from your phone, your tablet, or your iPad into the Silhouette Go app. So we're going to be doing some converting and we're going to be going through everything step by step. So stay tuned and let's jump into the Silhouette Go app and start right now. Welcome back everyone. And we are currently in the Silhouette Go app right now. And for the purpose of this video, I am using my iPad. However, you must know that you can use your cell phone, you can use your tablet or you can use your iPad. Once you have a device, go to your app store or go to the Google Play Store and download the Silhouette Go app and you'll be able to follow each and every step that I'm going to be doing right now to get your images into the Silhouette Go program and to be able to use it as a cut file. All right, so I'll leave the link down in the description for the App Store and for the Google Play Store so you can download the Silhouette Go app. All right, so before we go any further, I also must mention that there are many ways you can access your files in your Silhouette Go app. Firstly, on your computer, when you have finished completed your project or your design, you can save your project or design in the library section. Once you save it in the library section, you will have access to those projects or those files when you open up the Silhouette Go app. So for example, right now I am in the filters section. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you will see filters, library and device. So I clicked on filters and if I click on user designs, you will be able to see four different projects that I would have personally created. These were created from my computer and I saved them in the library section in Silhouette Studio and then I was able to access them on my iPad when it opened up the Silhouette Go app. So let's say I click on the fourth one to the right, then you will be able to see that I was able to access and I can edit these files here. I can make them larger or smaller. I can duplicate them. I can delete if I want, or I can rotate them to my liking. Okay, so once you save your files in the library section on your computer in the Silhouette Studio program, you will be able to access them on the Silhouette Go app in the library section. Okay, all right, so let's now talk about photos from online or photos or files from your phone that you would like to upload into the Silhouette Go app and use as your cut file. Now, let me give you a quick example. I've prepared four, I've downloaded four different images. And these four different images are stored on my iPad, but I downloaded them from online to give you a greater understanding. So let's use the fish as an example. These four images are JPEG images, okay? And uh, once I try to upload one of these JPEGs to the Silhouette Go program, it will tell me SVG file not supported. And it allows me to know that the version of SVG file that this Silhouette Go program uses is 1.0. So in order for you to upload a file or an image into this program so you can cut, so you can print, or so you can edit towards your liking, it needs to be the version one. Point zero. So I'm going to show you exactly, firstly, how to convert your file from a, a JPEG or whatever file format is to SVG 1.0 so you will be able to use it within the Silhouette Go program. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go online. And when we go online, what you're going to type in is PNG to svg.com, png to svg 
www.ebooksforsale.com and I'm going to leave all of this information down in the description so you can have an easy access towards it. When you click on PNG to svg.com, you're going to scroll down and you are going to look for this option which says drag and drop a file. So I'm going to choose a file and for the purpose of this, I'm going to be using the fish. I'm going to use the fish. You're going to scroll down and you're going to see the option which says to generate. So once I click on generate, which I did just now, on the right hand side, you will see it says reducing image, then generating vector. So my file has already been converted as you can see, and it gives me the option to download SVG. And if I scroll down a little further, it gives me the option to download the cut SVG. And at the top, it reads for circuit and silhouette cutting machines, with registration marks. What you want to do is to download this cut SVG file and this is the name of it, image2 vector split. Once my file is downloaded to my iPad, what I'm going to do is to go back into the Silhouette Go app. I'm going to click on the plus icon at the bottom that says device. And then I'm going to search in my downloads area for that SVG file. And right here, I can see the SVG file image to vector split. What I'm going to do now is to click on it. And once I click on it, it opened up my SVG file. Remember, this was a JPEG before and I converted it from a JPEG to a SVG 1.0 file and it was able to utilize it to my liking. Now, what is so amazing about that online program is not only that it gives you one part of the file, but it gives you each single part. It gives you the lines so you can choose which options you want. So what I'm gonna do is to resize the image first, open back up my cutting area, and then I can ungroup these files if I wish, and I can move them around to my liking, to suit myself. All right, so this is the first option that you can use. So here you go. So this is one way that you can actually convert your JPEG or your other PNG file formats or whatever file format into a SVG file format so you can upload it to the Silhouette Go program and so you can actually utilize it to cut your jaw. And I'm gonna give you an example at the ending of this video of me cutting out this fish with some heat transfer vinyl. But let's do something much easier. So what I want you to do is to go to your App Store or your Google Play Store and download File Converter. And I'm gonna leave all of the links down in the description as I mentioned before to give you easy access in finding these apps. But go to File Converter and once you have downloaded the app, what you're gonna do is to select your file. And you're gonna select from your camera roll or you're gonna select from wherever your image is. And I'm gonna be using these two trees for example this time. We use the fish first for online, but we're gonna use the trees for this example with the app. Once you upload your photo, your image, or your file into the file converter app, on the image converter, you wanna click on show all and you want to select SVG. Once you clicked on SVG, you would see that it gave you the option and it allows you to know that you'll be converting from a JPEG to a SVG, or you'll be converting from whatever file format it is to a SVG file. And I'm gonna start the conversion. Once you start the conversion, 
it will allow you not to know that it's preparing it's going to convert your file and then we're going to download the file after it has been completed and you can see that my file is completed i'm going to download it i'm going to open it so you can actually see it and i'm going to save my file right now into my file section on my ipad and i'm going to name it svg trees And I'm going to save it into my silhouette files folder. All right. So once your image or your file has been converted into an SVG file, we can go back to the silhouette go app. We can click on device. And here you can see clearly my SVG trees, my document it is prepared and is ready so what i'm going to do is click on it and guess what it opens up so this is just another way that you can actually utilize and uh, convert your files to a svg file format so you can upload them into the silhouette go app and use them to cut your design or cut your project so what i've done right now is basically add the fish back into my silhouette go app i'm going to resize it and as promised i'm going to give a quick demonstration an example of actually cutting these files on my cameo 4 using the silhouette go app and if you haven't seen a link i'll put a link at the top of the screen right now where you can click on it where i actually show you how to use the silhouette go app and to cut your file. I'm gonna set up the, the cutting settings. Job settings will be, we're gonna be using heat transfer vinyl, smooth. We're gonna use cut, auto blade, and we're going to click on the test or modify settings you can always go in there to check your speed your depth of blade and your force so I'm, I'm going to be using a depth of three my force is going to be to six or seven I'm going to use six I'm going to reduce my speed to six and I'm going to confirm the settings and as you can see on my screen right now I am using the iPad here as I mentioned before this is the silhouette goal program and I'm going to load my material into the Cameo 4. So if you got value from this video, make sure to smash that like button or also click that subscribe button for more videos like this. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.